Yeah, so I'm going to play in this big uh, charity hockey game that's coming up in a couple of weeks. It's uh, really cool, you know. It's all uh, real pros, a big deal. Wow. You used to play hockey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know much about the game? Mm, not really. Oh. Well, basically, uh, you know, I was the greatest hockey player of all time. And, uh... Spanning the globe to bring you... Hey, Norm, they're showing you on TV again. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You're on TV? Yeah, there I am. I'm that large black man. Well, let's go. At the agony of defeat. This oh. is ABC's Wide World. My Sport. God. <laughs> You're the agony of defeat guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you keep laughing like that, you know, the odds become slimmer that I'll take you home and have sex with you. Oh. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be sitting here hitting on women anyway. You know, if you're ever going to make up for this agony of the feet thing, you know, don't you think you should be getting in shape for the game? Come on, I've only been off the ice for a couple of years, you know. I'm as ready now as I'll ever be. And one. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> wiener dog, wiener dog. <laughs> Call 911. <laughs> <laughs> Not 991, you stupid dog. <laughs> It's on lock. Come in, quick. Ah. Oh, God. Sometimes I overdo it. I think I did, like, 50 reps. Kill yourself, man. No, I got to keep going. I got to get in shape. I got to get in shape. Here, hold my feet. Here, hold my feet. I'll do some sit-ups. Well, how many of these do you do? Ah, I'm up to about 100 a day. All right, one and two. And all right, good. <laughs> I thought you said you did 100. Yeah, I do. I do uh, 50 sets of two. <laughs> Norm, you got, you, got, you got one chance to, to do something great and redeem your entire career, and, and you're going to blow it. Uh, yeah, that's what you think, huh? Well, let me tell you something, Danny. Every journey begins with a single step, you know? And uh, after all, I am a professional athlete, and I think that I know thing or two more about training than you do, so. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna get a little milk here for some added protein. Holy Lord God. <laughs> damn store only had gallons. Makes you realize how strong uh, cows are. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding, you know? I can't train myself. I'm gonna get in that game. I'm just gonna humiliate myself even worse. Well, how'd you get into shape in your playing days? Uh, I had this coach, the Panther. This guy was the master of motivation, you know? He'd line up the players and he'd go, you're losers, you're born losers, and you'll die losers. <laughs> and that was after a win. <laughs> You know, maybe you can call him up and uh, get him to coach you now. Nah, I left him a couple of messages, but, uh, you know, I think he's ashamed of me, you know? I haven't talked to him since, uh, you know, that whole thing where I, where I got kicked out of hockey for gambling and tax evasion, you know? But all I need is somebody to train me, you know? Well, why don't you be my trainer? Why? You were born a loser, you're gonna die a loser. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're a bald little stump. <laughs> hey, I was just trying to inspire you. Oh. Well, I was, I was trying to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad. 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 It's gonna be great. I can't believe I'm your coach. You know, I, I, I never played sports. I know almost nothing about hockey. And all my life, people have been telling me that I show absolutely no signs of leadership. <laughs> well, that's great. You'll be great. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, ma'am. Will you be my coach? Norm! Oh, that... Norm! You've got a message. The Panther arrives at one. I don't know what it means. It is the most exciting message I've ever taken in my life. I feel like part of the French underground. <laughs> this is great. This is my old coach. Oh, he's fantastic. He's the best coach ever. So, uh, is he gonna be my assistant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna be your assistant. Yeah, he, he's gonna be such a good assistant that uh, you won't have to do anything. <laughs> 
call him the Panther. Ah, the Panther's because he's ferocious and he's sleek and muscular. Oh, my Lord, he's muscular. This guy makes Lou Ferrigno look like uh, Bill Bixby. Hey, Norm, some guy in A Street selling T-shirts with your picture on them. Oh, my God, you didn't buy one of those, did you? I bought every one he had. Look, they're terrible. They're humiliating. But luckily, I got there first thing in the morning. He had only sold one. <laughs> Notice anything different about me, Norm? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, your panty lines aren't showing today. Good for you, sir. I'll have you know, Norm, I'm not wearing panties. <laughs> Listen, did you see a client today uh, named Peter Lyons? Yeah, right, yeah, I saw him this morning. Germophobic, yeah, the guy's nuts. He's afraid of touching doorknobs. Oh, that explain why he's still in the counseling room where you left him. Oh, oh, so that's who's been yelling, filthy doorknob, filthy doorknob. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I bet that's him. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'll go get him. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah, Tom sure. Tom for Norm Henderson. Can you tell him the panther is here? <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell happened to my... My manners. I'm sorry. <laughs> Introduce myself. I'm Laurie, and Hi. you're the panther. You look just like a panther. You know, if I'd seen you roaming the halls out there, I might have called animal control. <laughs> uh, Danny, this is the panther. Really? Oh, Norm is so uh, anxious to see you, and I'm really anxious for Norm to see you. Wait, let me stand next to you here. <laughs> Look, your coach is here. Where? Where? Oh, come on, Norm. It hasn't been that long, huh? Uh, yeah, it's great to see you, Panther. Look, I saw that wide world of sports thing, but don't you worry. We're going to get your reputation back ASAP, buddy. What do you say? Hi, Sam, I'm with you. Uh, you weren't stung by a bee, were you? <laughs> Sixth floor, huh? Yeah, sixth floor. Imagine how tired you'd be if we hadn't taken the elevator, right? <laughs> Look, Coach, I'm getting a little worried about our training here, you know? I mean, we were only at the skating rink for 15 minutes, and uh, 10 of that was spent with you arguing with that hot dog vendor. I measured. They're not a foot long. <laughs> All right, well, I'm still raring to go. Come on, let's do some sit-ups, huh? Sure, why not? Yeah. 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 yeah, Coach, you're gonna have to put that out, huh? That's okay. I'm gonna hold your feet and smoke. <laughs> okay, how many do you want me to do there, Coach? 60, 80, 100? I don't know. I mean, how many do you want to do? Yeah, look, Coach, uh, I need some motivation here, huh? Why don't you punish me? Remember you used to punish me by, by making me do push-ups. Geez, those are hard. <laughs> Coach, listen, man, you, you got to get into this, you know? Remember how you used to instill fear in your players with your taunts and your threats, you know? Oh, no, no, no. Give me a minute to think. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember when this always used to work. Henderson, you make me sick! Hey, excellent. You call yourself a man? I can run rings around you, you flabby little girl. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me! And then look at yourself! Huh? <laughs> I can take off my shirt and humiliate you! Good! Coach, Coach, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Help me get my shirt off. Oh, no. No, no. Why don't we leave your bare torso for when I really need a boost, you know? On that case, go brush your teeth. What? Why? Because I'm going to need CPR. Ooh. Oh, man, are my triceps sore. Oh, so the panther is whipping you into shape. I know. I had to give him CPR on it. Oh. Your coach had a heart attack? I oh, know, we thought he did, and then we took him to the emergency room, and uh, he let out this big burp, and he felt all better. Well, 
Is he at least training you well? No, he isn't training me at all. That's the problem. You know, he seems to have lost all his drive or something. All he wants to do is eat. Well, Norm, maybe he has a problem. A lot of people overeat because they're depressed. Oh, man, you wouldn't think he was depressed if you saw him scarfing down that rack of ribs last night, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Boy, the sheer joy in his face, you know? It was like a, a kid that got a pony for Christmas and, and then ate it. <laughs> what's going on in your coach's head. You know, maybe he's mourning a loss of some kind. Maybe he misses his feet. <laughs> I, I know I can't smoke in here. I'm, I'm just gonna finish this up, okay? Come on, Lori, look at the guy. Can you, can you talk to him and find out what's wrong? Yeah, but I don't want to counsel him out here in front of everybody. You gotta get him in the counseling office. I can get him in there. You ready to hit the pavement? Do some serious road work? Pizza? So, Coach, uh, would you mind if I just sat in here and talked with you for a while while you enjoy your pizza? Oh, sure, no problem. Yeah, hurry up. There's only six slices left. <laughs> Coach, I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable when I say that uh, your friend Norm here is a little concerned about you. Norm, are you concerned about me? Uh, well, uh, Lori was explaining to me that uh, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, if you if you eat a lot of food, it means that you're sad inside. So I was I was wondering there, uh, you know, uh, uh, why the wide face? I think what Norm is trying to say in his clumsy and horrifying way is that you were always there for him, and he wants to be there for you. <laughs> Good Lord, Lori, what'd you do to him? Well, Coach, I know you're upset. Can you talk about it? It's, it's just when I look at Norm, and I think about him getting in trouble with the IRS, and getting banned from hockey, and it makes me sick to think about well, it. Well, that's not your fault. Yes, it is. I turned him in. Ooh. What? Norma, I ratted you out to the IRS. You dirty son of a bastard! <laughs> I, I, I didn't have any choice. I just gotten divorced, and she took everything. And the IRS came along and offered a reward to any pro player that I'd turn over. It was the right thing to do, but I, I feel guilty as hell about it. What about Johnson? Why couldn't you turn him in? He was always behind on his taxes. Johnson? I didn't know about Johnson. <laughs> Doing. You destroyed my entire life. Look, I'm sorry. I, I want to make it up to you. And I'll buckle down. I'll straighten out completely. I still want to be your coach. I still got the fire in my belly. Yeah, I'm sure you got the whole damn sun in that thing. <laughs> well, I'm Carrie, you're not coaching me. Now, Norm, <coughs> coach, no. Norm has a very hot temper, but he's also a reasonable person. He knows that he needs you. He'll be back. Yeah, yeah, I don't need you at all. Let me tell you something. I can train myself. I don't need any washed-up coach. And when I say washed up, I mean beached. <laughs> so, coach, you know that sometimes when these kind of feelings... You know, like a whale beached, right? <laughs> Thanks for training me, Danny. You're way more focused than that stupid coach ever was. I knew these things weren't a foot long. <laughs> hey, hot dog guy, want another three inches?
Look at you. Come on, show me a crab. Nah, nah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see it. All right. Uh... <laughs> uh, doesn't look as good as it feels, you know. But... Oh. Oh. oh, it's you. Yeah, I thought uh, it sounded like somebody was uh, beating a ham against my door. <laughs> Norm, you haven't returned my calls. I still want to help you train. Yeah, get out of here. I don't need you. Danny's training me, and I'm doing just fine. Fine, and you're doing great. Come on, show him the crap. Yeah, how about this? <laughs> yeah, now get out of here. Go on, beat it. Kind of destroyed my life, Danny. You know, I could have played another 10 years, and he knows it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure, you're right, Norm. What? I could have played for another 10 years. I shouldn't even come here. No, no, look, you know, it's about time I started being honest with you. When you got kicked out of hockey, you were just days away from being cut. What? The owner was tired of waiting for you to live up to your potential. You were my coach. You should have told me that. I wanted to, but that's right when the IRS came in and offered me the $500. $500? Yeah, Did they make a check out to you or directly to IHOP? <laughs> Norm's big game. It's really pretty exciting, you know? Oh, the hockey, it's kind of a dangerous sport, isn't it? The fast skating, sticks. It's like any sport, sir. Accidents can happen. Mm -hmm. A good chance that Norm could be hurt, isn't there? Uh, you know, I sustained some sort of crippling injury. Never be seen at work again. Well, it doesn't seem very likely, sir. I mean, they're not even letting them play. You know how we all said we were going to drink every time Norm scores a goal? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I have so much faith in Norm that I'm going to have my shot now in anticipation of the goal I know he's going to score. Well, I have more faith in him than you. I think he's going to score two or three. There is no way he's going to score a goal. I am so sure of it that if he does, I will sleep with... It's not gonna happen, so yeah, I will sleep with you. Uh -huh. Well, you're counting on them not playing, right? Well, let me tell you something. They're holding them back as a secret weapon. They're waiting for just the right moment to unleash the best player on the team. <laughs> for the love of God, somebody drop dead so Norm can play. <laughs> Doing here. I came to apologize. I just can't seem to do right by you, huh? Yeah, well, don't worry about it, Coach. It takes a big man to apologize. Is that another fat joke? You betcha. You know, I had that one coming. So what's going on? It's the middle of the theater. How come you're not in? Because it's unfair. That coach won't let me in no matter how much I beg him. Henderson, are you sure you don't want to go in? <laughs> no, my tummy still hurts. This is my fault, isn't it? I broke your confidence, didn't I? Kind of. <laughs> Look, Norm, I know I told you that you didn't have the will to win, but that was the old Norm, the Norm that played pro hockey. You're a different guy now. I mean, you have the discipline to get yourself into shape. Yeah, yeah, really? You think I can do this? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what the hell is that? You don't know. I don't know if you can do it, and neither do you. But the only place you're going to find the answer is out there. What, the chip witch guy? No, on the ice. I didn't see the chip witch guy. You get out there and you make me proud, huh? Now I want you to know that every minute you're out there, I'm gonna be... Yo, chip witch! <laughs> Coach, I'm going in. My tummy, it feels all better. What's he gonna play? There's only 45 seconds left. I'll not only do you, I'll give you a bubble bath first. <laughs> Norm's going in. Norm's on the ice. If he scores, I'll kill myself. It ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> oh my God! Norm's got the puck. Norm Henderson making his first appearance. Dear God, it's me, Molly. I know we haven't talked in a while. Henderson streaking in. He shoots. He scores. Henderson scores the winning goal. The old 
woman, not the oh! Look, I'll pay you a thousand dollars. Nope. <laughs> Look, there's nothing you could say or do to dissuade me from collecting my bet. Have I ever told you that at the height of passion I make this face? <laughs> Don't worry, baby. With me, you'll never reach the height of passion. <laughs> Here, this will help us both. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's get it. All right. 